Hey everybody, it's Amelia, and it's bedtime. I um, I, don't know, I just came to the computer to do a couple things, and then I I realized that maybe if I were honest, I'd have something to talk about um, with you guys. I'm nervous. Um, if I'm honest with myself, I'm scared. I know I'm very fortunate to have my, my tummy tuck paid for, and I'm very fortunate to be able to have the experience I'm about to have, but I'm scared. Um, this is going to be a very painful surgery, and I know that because there's a lot more incision involved. And, um, it's Tuesday. I see my husband's about to walk through the door, so it's going to be kind of loud in just a second. But, um... Hey, babe. I'm making a video, so be quiet. Okay. You can say hi if you want. No, no, come a bit closer. Come say hi. Everybody loves you. Anyway. I'm getting nervous. Um, with my last surgery, I just, um, I'd worked so hard to get the surgery, and I was so sure about it, and I just barreled on without even, like, a care in my, in the world, and just did it. Um, this one's a lot faster. Um, the last one took about two months to get to the point, so by the time it happened, it was just like, yes! Let's do this. Um, I'm not saying that I'm at all reconsidering the surgery at all. I'm not reconsidering the surgery. I'm having that surgery. I'm walking into the hospital. I'm checking in at 6 a.m. on Friday morning. I'm going to let them give me the happy juice, and I'm doing it. But I'm actually nervous, and that's something I have to be honest about. Um... It seems like time's going really fast. I had the weekend went by very quickly. We our company came and um, we had a lot of fun. And I worked yesterday and I worked today and I'm working Wednesday and the, tomorrow I'm working from three to close. And that's it. The next time they see me is going to be when I'm able to work again, which I'm guessing it, a month. But um. I just read all the, I went in for the pre-admission yesterday, and I filled out all the paperwork, you know, saying that if they kill me, you know, we can't sue them, and I understand the risks involved, and they might need to give me blood, and all that, so I, I, I know, um, I know I'm very healthy, I know that this is going to be fine, but I am... I don't know, like, I feel so good, I mean, like, I'm thinking of all the things I can't do, like, right now, I can put my knees up to my chest, and I can, I can do a lot of things, I'm so flexible, and I'm thinking about spending an entire month, like, at least, completely jacked up, I'm like, oh, <sighs> anyway, I'm very positive. I know you guys know that about me. I'm very positive, and I'm I am a happy person. But I don't want to pretend that I'm not scared, because I totally am. And um, I don't know. I've been trying to get hold of my dad for the last two days, and I haven't really talked to him since I got approved for the surgery. You know, and I just want to talk to him because I didn't last time I had a surgery, I didn't tell him, and we're so much closer now. And I don't know. This is going to be awesome. This is this is awesome. I've never had a flat stomach in my life. My whole life I've been overweight. When I look down, it's always been lumpy and bumpy. And I mean, just the prospect of how awesome it is. I mean, I went in there and I read all the paperwork. You don't really even know what you're going to look like until three months after. You're still going to be swollen and bruised and beat up. And I'm just, you know, and they put you in these this really tight undergarments. I don't, I don't want to obsess about it, but... 
I just, I really am just, I've just got to relax. Um, I'm going to work tomorrow. I'm going to clean house. I'm going to cook a lot of soups up ahead of time. I've already just organized my, my fridge. I went and got all my favorite little foods that I like to eat. I um, made up a lot of um, tea ahead of time and put it in the fridge. Um, I'm actually renting a uh, one of those medical lift recliners like that they have for like old people, the kind that like actually like tilt all the way up. So basically, you just lean back up to it standing up, and it'll slowly lean you back into position. Because I'm um, basically, um, if I'd waited till later um, to have my surgery, my mom could have took care of me for a whole month, which. I would love, but my mom's in college right now. She could have done it if I'd done it around Christmas, but I'm, you know, I wanted to get this done, and I just want to get it over with. So my mom's gonna stay with me till Monday, and then I'm on my own. So the recliner will allow me to get up and sit down by myself, because that's really what I'm worried about is being able to get up with all the incisions in my my stomach and everything. And so I'm gonna cook ahead. I'm trying to get the house clean. I'm trying to get food stocked, um, I just don't know that there's really anything that'll truly completely prepare me, um, yeah, oh, and another thing, I just, uh, I bought this, this, these honey sesame coated cashews at Trader Joe's, we have Trader Joe's in Atlanta, which is like two hours away from here, and I bought one bag, and they're so unbelievably, unbelievably delicious. I've already eaten them. And now I feel like I would give my entire kingdom to have more of these. They just, they're Trader Joe's brand, honey, sesame covered cashews. And if anybody is anywhere near a Trader Joe's, please, please write me. Please somebody send me some of these because I can't go to Georgia I'm not going to be going through Atlanta for over a month at least and I am now like dying for some anyway never mind anyway I hate to beg but honestly I'm seriously craving them so bad and um yeah yeah the nioxin is working good by the way just so y'all know my hair is looking a lot th thicker I've got it in a ponytail right now so you can't really see but it really is looking a lot better but okay so I've got the case of nerves just please send me good vibes because I can do this. I can totally do this. People do it every day. It's not a big deal. I just want you all to know that I'm not, I'm not made of steel. I'm not as strong as you might think I am. I really am starting to think about it. So anyway, you guys will see me again on Thursday for my update. And um, wish me luck. Okay. All right. Um, good night. Bye.